Hey, it's Deborah Atkinson, host of the Flipping 50 TV show and the Flipping 50 podcast. And have you ever had one of those imperfect days? Having one? So here's my answer. I'm about two hours later for lunch than I want to be, and that's the way the day has gone. Everything took a little bit more time than it should have. Everything took a little more effort than it should have. And I need to kind of turn things around because not only am I two hours later for lunch than I'd like to be, I'm two hours more hungry for lunch. But that could go downhill really fast. So here's how I get back on track. That means I've got a little lower blood sugar. I'm a little more cranky. And we, th we call that hangry, right, in our house. Hungry and angry, kind of the just low blood sugar, cravings can kick in, not because of four nights sleep, I actually slept really well, but it's just been a day. So here's how I get back on track. Instead of going for the too big a lunch that I actually could have right now if it were in front of me, that's going to sit here and make me kind of feel like a little sluggish the rest of the day that I don't have time for because you just heard everything else took a little too long. I had just I don't have time to give. So I'm going to get back on track with a smoothie and I'm going to go for something I don't normally do for lunch because I've already done a smoothie at breakfast, but today I didn't. I just didn't have time. So I'm going to add greens and today's going to be a chocolatey one because I kind of need it. <laughs> so I'm going to get my greens in here and I've already scooped out a little avocado, plenty of avocado in fact. And I'm gonna get a little fiber in here as well. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. So I'm using my own fiber boost from Flipping 50. And the thing is, it's adding maybe four grams. And I went a little, probably on the aggressive side, it was a little hefty. So probably five, six grams of fiber that I'm adding to the avocado and the berries, which already give me some. But it comes from both soluble and insoluble fiber. So it's not like some canned or harsh fibers that you're gonna add. It's more like picking it up from real foods. It comes from a variety. So it actually does come from, from flax and prune and apple pectin and citrus fiber, carrot fiber, seed, cranberry seed. It's naturally put in there, which is what you want if you're adding fiber. And right now I do. How's that gonna help me? Stabilize blood sugar, number one and take away some of this real hunger that I've got from just going way too far beyond lunch that I should have gone. So I'm gonna add that. And I'm also adding mint greens, and it takes a tablespoon, so I'm kind of eyeballing that I don't have an actual measuring spoon, but you know that's how I roll, right? So mint greens has a high auric powder, and what that means to you is the mint greens that are in here, you know, it's when you travel and it's hard to get in fruits and vegetables because maybe you're not picking the meal or the menu and or your schedule is sporadic. You're in a hotel room and you grab something quick. Even if you're doing what I suggest and doing oatmeal in the morning, having this to drop into a quick shake or a smoothie can actually help you kind of bump up the lack of vegetables and get that auric powder and all the antioxidants that you want a little bit easier. So take care of yourself there. I'm gonna drop in uh, frozen fruit. So I've got mixed berries in here. So I've got strawberries. I've got a little bit of cherries, not too much, because I don't, I don't, right now I don't want the extra sugar. And then I'm using chocolate, paleo power today, rather than plant, just because I need a little bit higher degree of protein and make sure that I get all the amino acids. And my plant power and whey power both have amino acids, but this is gonna be a little bit higher. I don't want whey because it didn't just work out. So that's not gonna help me any. I'm gonna shake up and today I've got almond milk, unsweetened vanilla. I'm gonna get that in here and take this right to the Nutribullet for blending. And thank goodness, I'm gonna reach in front of you. Sorry about that. <laughs> thank goodness for the Nutribullet, right? So in minutes, right? I'm five minutes in the door, super hungry. And rather than grab something that is not gonna serve me well, I'm going right for this guy. <laughs>
been here with me before, you know I like it on the thick side, so that's why it takes a little bit longer. I can often mix one up that's a little bit more on the liquid side, like in 10 seconds or less, which is amazing. I like to do that if I'm quick and I gotta be out the door and maybe I'm gonna drink some of it in the car. But right now, I need something that feels a little bit more decadent and thick and maybe a little naughty, right, <laughs> is what it feels like, because it feels like I've been, have that kind of a day. So here we go, are you ready? So if you know by now, this is my mint smoothie and it is perfect, decadent for lunch at a time when I needed something that's a little bit more satisfying than just a good for you smoothie that's a go-to. So it's also gonna be an afternoon snack, really satisfying and kind of like a thin mint Girl Scout cookie without the loaded carbs and the sugar crash that comes after. So cheers, I'll see you on the flip side.